Okay, so I am about to check the woman's prize long list. I'm currently sitting in the Barnes and Noble parking lot. Um, because I'm just so freaking excited. I'm so excited. My relationship with the woman's prize, I'd say started when I was like 17. Um, and at the time I would really, I really got into the long list. There were some years where I dedicated myself to reading the full list. Last year, I kind of fell off of it. Um, I really only read, a, how many of the books did I read? I, two or three of the 16. I ended up reading Demon Copperhead, which won, and which was my favorite book of last year. So I love the Woman's Prize. It always introduces me to new books that I have never heard of before, that I never would have probably picked up. Um, there's also a lot of books that end up popping up on that list that I really dislike, so it's just inevitable with the 16 book list. Um, me living in the United States and this prize being a UK-based prize, sometimes it is difficult because some of the books that come out on the list have not yet come out in the United States, so we'll see what's on the list. Man, all these people were putting out their predictions lists and it was getting me so hyped so freaking hyped and I it I wanted to buy all the books that everyone was predicting and I held myself back okay I held myself back um, inevitably the books that people were predicting are not all gonna make it on this list and there's going to be books on this list that no one has heard of before probably because that's how it works every year so do I have any predictions before I check the actual list I hope that enter ghost by Isabella Hamad is on there I hope that Julia 1984 by Sandra Newman is on there I hope that good material by Dolly Alderton is on there. Uh, Ordinary Human Fa Failings by Megan Nolan. I'll I, I'm up for whatever. Let Us Descend by Jasmine Ward sounded interesting to me. And those are really the main ones that I'm primarily interested in. Terrace Story, I forget the name of the author, but I'll put a picture in. We, we will see, we'll see. Okay, let's check. Hello, I'm Monica Ali. I'm the chair of the 2024 Women's Prize for Fiction, and I'm delighted to be able to share with you today the 16 books that we've chosen for the long list. Okay, I see. A Chase oh. of Sun by Pam Williams follows the story of a mother and a son set in the 1960s. A Trace of Sun, it haven't heard of it. It's heartbreaking, it is courageous, and it will leave you full of hope. Restless Dolly Munder by Kate Grenville. Restless Dolly Munder. Who is restless? Uh, it starts in the 1880s in Australia, rural Australia, and it follows her ambitions to live a bigger life than the one she's been given. Kate River Grenville. East, River, West, River East, River West. West. That was on a lot of it's predictions lists. That sounded interesting. I think the last author, so Kate Grenville, had previously won for the idea of perfection. Western Lane by Chetna Maru. Western Lane! Chetna Maru! That was on the Booker. Is it out in the U.S.? I think so. The Blue Beautiful World by Karen Lord. The Blue Beautiful like World. Literally, so far, so I knew this would happen. So far, I have not heard of most of these books. A historical thriller. The Wren, the Wren by Anne Wren. The Wren, the Wren. I think I can get that here. It's so psychologically astute. It's written in this... Okay. And and right, so we have an Irish in author. In defense of the act by Effie Black. Is in defense of the act. And poignant oh my gosh, I have not essay, heard. The benefits of suicide. Also, you would believe. Oh, in defense. Ordinary human, failings. Ordinary human failings. Yay! Oh man, I'm so excited to read this. Family and the journalist is trying okay. to get Ordinary human failings. We have two Irish authors. And then she fell. Dive into the shattered mind of a postpartum woman. Postpartum woman. Okay. Hangman by Maya Binyam. Hangman. I have seen this. That is written with this mordant wit, a sense of playfulness. I have seen this. Keeps you hooked right until the very end. I don't Soldier remember what it's about. Like Soldier Sailor. A beautiful okay. And harrowing. Soldier Sailor, another Irish that author. Fantastic. We love Night the Irish. Bloom. Night Bloom! Oh, okay, I'm really excited to read Night Bloom. I haven't even been counting. 
Enter ghost! Yay, 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 yay! Enter ghost! And I already own it, so yay, enter ghost! Eight lives of a century old trickster. This is so fun. Visceral, historical, emotional is 300 pages of must read. Okay. Oh man. Wow. So I'll answer the picture. So there you are. That's the list. Wow. Okay. I love The Woman's Prize. Like I thought a lot of these books I have not heard of before. There are a few books on there that I recognize from a lot of people's long list predictions. Ordinary Human Failings, River East, River West, Night Bloom, uh, Enter Ghost, which I'm really excited about. Oh, what was the other one? The other Irish one that I was... Oh, The Wren, The Wren. Um, I, I'm like... I love the Woman's Prize. Now I'm going to go into Barnes & Noble, so I'm going to make a second part to this video. And we're going to go shopping to see if we can find... These books. We'll see how many of these books that we can find again because I'm in the United States. What are you guys excited to see? I'm assuming a lot of people are going to be bummed that some of their some books are not on this list as is inevitable every year but this is just so fun. I haven't heard of like so many of these books. I think there was one that was it said it was a thriller. Hangman? I have seen that cover around so much but I don't exactly know off the top of my head what it's about. I'm Happy Soldier Sailor is on there. That's the one I couldn't remember. Uh, Kate Grenville. Nobody predicted Kate Grenville. And she ha she had previously won Western Lane. Okay, that's the other one that a lot of people were predicting. In Defense of the Act by Effie Black. Does that say Block or Black? Effie Black. Um, they said in the little clip that it was about suicide. I find that topic to be incredibly interesting. So I really hope I can get my hands on that one. Again, I think I'm just going to pick up whatever I can find. What was the one that was The Maiden by Kate Foster? Sounded really interesting. It was like a psychological thriller in the 1600s. Is that what it was? Something mysterious. The Blue Beautiful World. They said that that was about climate change, which I love. I sometimes really love those books, so... Uh, again, so exciting, so exciting. Woo! Yay!